as a lot of you know, I haven't posted a prank for a while. And it's been something I mean to address a lot of you to. Um, it's a difficult one. And I know it's not a video you're going to want to see. And I know it's not something, I, I, I don't know, it's not a lot you want to hear in that. But, I mean, yeah, I, I laid off pranking Elliot. I, I, I stopped pranking Elliot. Reason being is, I heard from thousands of you that Elliot was taking a bit of a turn for the worse and, you know, his life was going downhill. First of all, I heard that he was um, causing trouble on the streets. When I found out what it wasn't actually trouble, he was just sleeping rough on the streets. He left the house, uh, he, he didn't want even live in the caravan. He wanted to live in civilization. <laughs> this is Elliot's room. Um, we thought we'd make space to the place. I'll use for some useful. Now I've got a place, call this the onion room. Um, he's not here anymore. Just need to get rid of these weird decorations and stuff. Um, Elliot, if you're watching this, can you come and pick up your stress ball, please? The amount of dirty socks and magazines we found in you. No one's business. It's disgusting. I have to, I'm, I'm thinking we're getting fumigated. He was living on the streets of Cardiff in his boxer shorts, literally in his pants. And I found him on the streets of Cardiff in his pants and a Rudolph onesie. You look like an absolute dog. Why was you on that bench? Why was you sleeping on the spot? I was pissed. I'm not going. You can't be living on the street. All poor Max. Lots and lots of poor Max. Money, everything. You get a camera and you get it too. Who does that? Who does that? So, I mean, yeah, that was situation one. Situation two. Um, apparently, he was perving on women in lingerie shops. <laughs> Oh, this is a store, this is a store, this is a lingerie store. That's where the putty's at. Let's go in there. He's disgusting. Not a good look. <laughs> he was playing around people in lingerie shops. I had to go take him to uh, a soap company to get some soap to wash up. Bikinis, shower. I don't know what you can do. I'm clean as it is. I mean, not even that bad, the price is... 18 pounds. 20 pounds. 39 pounds. 20 quid for a bottle of soap. If I said bauble, it's 10 pounds. Do you think I can afford that shit? <laughs> and then, you know, the next thing I find out, uh... He's shouting at fans. He's shouting at fans while they want selfies. Like, screw me. <laughs> Get off me, I don't want to... Stop taking selfies! You, could, you know, and I just thought, wow, Elliot's life is taken for a turn. He's mentally gone dumb. <laughs> He's physically gone dumb. Uh, if you don't, Marge said next door, Elliot's got fatter. Um, this is a photo of Elliot before. Exactly, you can see Elliot is in a lot of trouble right now. Uh, so I, I laid off. I did lay off the pranks. I, I took time away from them. And I wanted to post more content for you guys to see. More vlogs like these vlogs. And I wanted to do cooler stuff like cinematic shots, just like this one. <laughs> Another thing that came to my attention was then, which I was shocked, he was taking baths in, in the public uh, jacuzzi or public hot tub, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got a drone, spy. <laughs> 
you know, you can't take baths in public hot tubs. You can't take baths here. Uh, you know, and even the point of running at the drum with your, your dick hanging out. <laughs> That's wrong, you know? Uh, so, yeah, I, I laid off completely. I did. Um, I laid off completely off the pranks just to give out a bit of mental time. And I came to the conclusion that maybe laying off the pranks wasn't actually helping Elliot. Maybe I needed to prank Elliot again. I highly suggest that on Christmas Day, the 25th of December, 7.50pm UK time, you tune in to my Facebook page called Ben Phillips. I suppose a lot of you are already following it, and if you're not following it, then you should go follow it. Go watch that video at 7.50, where I will be pranking Elliot. I suppose it's the part that I say, sorry.